as of right now, we will only have uh, two circle Venn diagrams, but we're going to switch to three. So we always have to decide whether it's a two circle or a three circle. And we always have to start in the end and work our way out. Remember, we talked about that. Work start in the middle and work your way out. So long, four pages. Oh, okay. You'll be okay. All right. In a home, you don't have any math homework, so that's your home. Well, that's to you. <laughs> so in a homeroom of 20 students, what is this? What does the 20 students represent? The universal. That's the total, the universal. So that's going to be what's going to, inside this box of knowledge, we're going to have to have something that adds up to 20. We agree? So that whole box has to add up to 20. Okay, we read. 15 take math. 20, or not 20, that is a 12. 12 take social. 10 take math and social. Show this information in a Venn diagram. So we are going to go two circles. Do they overlap? Do Venn diagrams have to overlap? No. If two of the sets were disjoint, which means they had nothing in common, you would have one circle here, one circle here, and no overlap, right? If the two sets didn't have any overlap, you'd have two circles with no overlap. All right, this one happens to have ants, people in both, so we're going to have the overlap. And we're not being lazy. We are going to make sure that we write out the whole word. Because just because you put an M doesn't mean that means math, okay? So you have to put all the things. So this is math, and I write the whole word, and this is social. We always have to start from the insides to outside, okay? We always have to start in the middle, and you'll see why in a second. So how many are in both? Ten. So that's where we start. There are ten people in both. We have to start there because even though they're in both, they're still in math, right? And even though they're in both, they're still in social. So they're part of the social count and they're part of the math count. They just happen to be in both. Okay? So we're done this one. Then it says 12 are in social. Do not do this. Let me show you something. If I put a 12 here, does that mean there are 12 in social? How many are in the social circle? 22. Did it say there's 12 or did it say there's 22? 12. It said there's 12. I have 22. So if they said, this is the difference. This is when you don't subtract. If they said 12 were in social only, if they have the word only, or social but not math, that's social only, then I would put a 12 in that spot, correct? But it says 12 are in social. Social is this circle. There are 12 in it. Currently, there are already 10. So how many are in social only? Two. Now, how many are in social? 12. And what do they say are in social? 12. We're in a good spot, right? First off, the universal set only has 20. If you said that social had 22, you're in trouble. You found two kids somewhere else, you haven't even talked about math, right? Then we go to the math. Does this say math only or does it say math? Math. So 15 are in math. So 15 are in the math circle. How many are already in the math circle? How many are in math only? Now remember, two circle Venn diagrams have four spots to put numbers. In the math only, in the social only, in the math and social, and then in doesn't take math or social at all, right? So the outside. So there should be four spots filled. Everyone remembers to fill in the circles, but you forget to fill in the outside. How do I fill in the people who aren't in, in math or social? Math or social is the snowman, right? So how many are in math or social currently? Yeah, so 17, right? 17 are in the math or social snowman. So how many are in neither math nor social? And that just goes on the outside somewhere. So here it says how many students uh, take neither math nor social? This is what I get on a test. This is the answer. Literally, half of you will answer like this. That's it. That's all I get. So I guess I get to decide which of those numbers is math or so not social like that. You're like, well, obviously, you know it's three. No, nope. obviously, I do not know it's three. Obviously, you drew a Venn diagram, and obviously, you're making me do math. That's what you're doing. I can't give you marks for math that I do, right? So if my question is, how many students take neither math nor social, and you give me a Venn diagram, did you answer the question? <coughs> did you do some work so I can give you part marks? Yeah? Can you get full marks? No, you didn't answer the question, right? 
So how many students take net math, neither math nor social? Some people will put three. Don't do that. It's a written response, right? A sentence, right? These are the easiest sentences to make. You just re reiterate the question. So how many students are in neither math nor social? Three students take neither math nor social. Do not just give me a Venn diagram and think I'm going to do the work for you. I'm not. You will get half the month. Half for the work and then the other half for nothing. So you need to tell me. Okay. This one is one that's often done a little shadier, but we practice it so much that most people are really good at it by the end. We put a box around our Venn diagram. So we have to make sure we do. <coughs> Okay, so I told you the very first thing you always have to fill in is the and, right? That you, the intersection in the very middle has to get filled in first. You can't do anything until that's filled in. Do you agree? So here it says, in a survey of 400 households, what's this? The universal set. In a survey of 400 households, 285 have tablets. I'm going to put this for myself. 320 of printers, 63 have neither. Oh crap. They didn't give me the what? They didn't give me the bold. The intersection, right? They didn't give me the intersection. So now I'm stuck and can't do any math. No. As long as they give you the universal, the neither and the ones who are in separates, you can find the and. How could we do that? Does anyone have any idea? Yeah. Algebra. Not wrong. Not where I was going, but not incorrect. We are going to use algebra. Did they give us the total? No. Can we reverse total something? Yeah. Okay, let's try it out. So. If I take the total, which is 400, and I take off the 63 who have neither, what's left over? 337. So here's my 63. I have 337 left for the two circles. We agree? Now, does the printers and the tablets here, does it say printers only or tablets only? So could some of those, some of the people own tablets and printers? Absolutely they could. <coughs> they have to. I only have 337 people left to fill in these circles, right? 337. What are these total to? 605, I believe. So what does that mean? That means I came up here, here's my little sheet of paper, and I told you guys, okay, what I need from you is I need you to put your name on a piece of paper. So I put mark. I put let on a sheet of paper. Okay. I'm putting let on two sheets of paper. Why am I doing that? Why would I have too many on two sheets of paper? What reason would I ever drop two sheets of paper in? If I own both. both, right? So what you would do is if you owned a printer, you would put left and T. If you owned a tablet, you'd put left and T, right? If you owned neither, you'd say left and N, right? So the only way I could put in one is if I own just a tablet or just a printer or neither, right? I put an N and I drop it in. But as left, I'm one human, right? But I can still put in two papers, can I not? I can put in two papers if I own two things. So I put in two papers, right? And the next person puts in two papers because they own two things. And the next person puts in two papers because they own two things. And the next person puts in two papers because they own two things. We agree the next person puts in one, 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 whatever, right? That's how you end up with more numbers than actual people, correct? I only have 337 people left to own a printer or a tablet. However, there are 605 names put into the bucket. 
for 337 spots. Is there any way I can figure out how many of them doubled up? Yeah. Exactly. You take, this is how many tickets got put in with names, 605. Well, there's only 337 people, so I subtract that off. How many extra tickets got put in? Two sixty-eight. Two hundred sixty-eight extra tickets got put in. So what does that mean? What does that number represent? People who put in two tickets. There's two hundred sixty-eight people who own both. Because that's how many extra tickets got put in. So that means two hundred sixty-eight people put in two tickets. Because those are the extra tickets. I only have spots for three hundred thirty-seven people. There were 605 tickets put in. I subtract them, that gets me an extra 268. So that's a double up. Yeah. Okay. Don't, don't do it at lunch. I really like it when you wait to the very beginning of class and then you go get water. So please do not, during lunch, fill that water bottle up ever. Not dehydrated. It was actually full. Yeah. Okay, maybe don't go fill your water, chug it and then fill it again and come to class. Don't do that. I really like when you leave right at the beginning. It brings me happiness. Okay, perfect. All right, so we have, I'm trying to reverse, um, you know, don't do this, it's easy to you know, psychology. Okay, so we have tablets, we have printers. How can I find how many people own tablets only? Now that I have the middle, to subtract them. So I'd go 285 minus 268. And how much is that? 17. Never show your math in your Venn diagram. They get marks off in 30 dash 2. Like if you went in that spot and you went 285 minus 268 equals 17, they don't want to see your math in there. You can your math off to the side. They want to just see a number there. Okay? And then how do I find only printers? 320 minus 268, which is? 50. Now, how can I double check if I'm right? Add the four numbers up and what should they total? Nope, what should they total? 400. 400, because we took off the, the double up, right? So they should total 400. So add up all four numbers. Use your calculator. Find your calculator if you don't have it up. Might make sure you have a box around that, okay? And I have to look up the box, yeah. Does that add up to 400? If it adds up to more, you didn't do it, right? If it adds up less, you didn't do it, right? It has to be 400, right? So the hardest part is setting up the actual Venn diagram. Then we can answer any questions. The people who are in both here, the people who are in or, you add up all three because it's the snowman. The people who are in neither, they told us, so they shouldn't ask us that. The people who are our own printers, they asked us, right? So that's stuff they're not going to do. So here it says uh, tablets and printers. How many in the household own tablets and printers? 268. How many own tablets but not printers? What's that a fancy way of saying? Tablets only. How many own tablets only? 17. How many own tablets or printers? We add up the snowman. 337. Or we just take the knots off of the total, right? That would give us the, the snowman. Okay, try this one out. Same reasoning. So we have in a class of 30. So that's the total, that's the universal set. So I know inside this box, I need to have 30. And I know I'm comparing math and physics. 
and you've read it already. So there's 22 to take math, 10 physics. Does it say math only and physics only? Nope. So can we just put those in the circle? No, we need to take that middle first, right? We can't just put them in. And four take neither. Let's see. So we put the four on the outside. So if four take neither, how many are left for the circles? 26. So if I take our total and I minus the four that are in neither, I'm left with 26 in the or spot, in the circle, correct? How many tickets got put in? So 20 tickets got put in for math and 10 tickets got put in for physics. How many tickets is that? 30 tickets. How many people are allowed to be in these circles though? 26, right? 30 tickets got put in. There's only 26 students left. So that means what? 30 minus 26 is 4. And those people are in? In the middle. So they're in math and physics. Now, how do I find the people who are in math only? I'm 20, so I get 16, and this totals to 20, so that makes me happy. Physics circle needs to have 10, so how many are in physics only? When I add this up, what do I get? And that's where I need to be. Now, it said, how many students are in math and physics? There are. And you're like, I would never just leave a Venn diagram in this lab and make you figure out that there are four in both. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You will. Because you're like, well, I know it's the middle, so she knows it's the middle, so she can figure it out, and she knows it's four. And she can find it there, she knows that it's four. I know it's four, we agree, it's great, it's bad, it's really bad, it's bad. It happens by half of you. Half of you will just give me a Venn diagram. You have not answered anything yet. Okay? So, you have to answer the question. There are four students who take math and physics. Okay? Flip over. How did you get ice? Where did you go? To 7 Eleven to get ice? No, it's bacteria. All right. In an Alberta school, there are 65 grade 12 students. Who are these? Universal. The Universal. I like how it just changes colors on what it feels. The need. Um, of these students, 23 played volleyball, 26 played basketball, 31 played neither. Fill in the Venn diagram. Go. So we know that we have 31 students who play neither sport. Cool. So if I take the 65 grade 12s and I subtract off the 31 who play neither, I'm left with 34 students to fill that middle, that or, that snowman, correct? How many do we currently have? We have 23 who play volleyball and 26 who play basketball. When I add those up, I get 49 who play uh, volleyball or basketball, right? That would be the, the actual lovely snowman. But I only have... 34. But if I take the 49 that put in tickets, 49 tickets, right? I refer to them as tickets. If you write tickets on the diploma, they're like, what are tickets? That's the thing. I call them tickets because I put in tickets when I'm explaining it. They're not really tickets. I call them tickets. If you put tickets on the diploma, they're like, where are these kids do tickets from? And so many people are saying it. Because you're mine. All right. So 49 tickets, but I only have 34 kids. So I subtract them and I get how many? 15 extra, correct? So that means there's 15 in both. There's 15 people who put in two tickets, right? So 15 goes in the middle. How many play volleyball only? Eight, because I do. 23 minus 15. How many play basketball only? 
then you'd have 26, right? When I add that up, what better it add, what must it add to? 65. So 31, 42, 50, 65. We're good. Now it says, how many play volleyball only? Eight. How many play basketball only? Volleyball and basketball? So remember, if they ask for volleyball only or basketball only, you have to find the and first. You cannot find them until you find the and, right? Because the and will give it so you can subtract them. Okay. <coughs> illustrate this using a Venn diagram. Now remember, these are numbers. So when you put them into the Venn diagram, what are you going to put behind them? Period. Right? You're going to put dot behind so you know they're putting numbers. So we're going to have an A. And a B. You fill it in, see how you do. Okay, so we always have to start with the and. Have I drilled that home? That the and has to be done before the circles? Yes. And those has to be. Can the outside be done first if you know what's on the outside? Sure. You can go ahead and do the outside first if you know what's on the outside. But I always start with the and. So um, the and in this one, what's the intersection of both of them? Is three in both? Two? Four, six. Six is in both. Um, eight, no, nine, ten, twelve is in both. And that's it, right? So I have to show what's in the intersection of the two first. Then I go to A and state what's in A. A still includes the six and the twelve, so I don't have to write it again, right? So I go three, nine, fifteen. And then in B, I would do 2, 4, it's already in there, 8, 10, 12 is already in there, and 14. Then what do I put on the outside, guys? If you're on your phone, you're not listening to me. I am not important in your life, in your life, in your life. Sorry, that's what I feel like. When you're on your phone, if you're like, this is left, you suck. I won't listen to you. You're not important. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, you're doing that. Mm -hmm. Just practice that, like throw one of those out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we have a two. We have a three. We have a four. We have a six. We have an eight. We have a nine. We have a ten. We have a twelve. Oh, everything's in there, isn't it? Did you guys get anything on the outside? Because I'm not seeing anything on the outside. Is it all in the inside? Okay. So determine the number. See this here? The number of elements. So do I want you to list what elements there are? I want the number of elements. Remember, we could represent that like this. How many elements are in A? Five. Now they want um, elements in set A, but not in set B. How we represent that is in set A, but not, is just like an and, but not in B. What is that a fancy way of saying? Set A, but not in set B. A what? In set A, but not in set B. In A only. In A only. This is a fancy way of saying A only. In set A, but not in set B. So which ones, how many are in set A only? Three. The three, the nine, and the fifteen. In set B, how many are in B? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In set B, but not in set A. So in set B, but not in A. What's that a fancy way of saying? In set B, but not in set A. B only. How many are in B only? Five. Yeah, Polish people are showing five. One, two, three, four, five. In set A and set B. How many are in set A and set B? Two. Two. The what? The six and the <coughs> twelve are in set A and B, right? A and B is what shape? The eyeball. Yeah. So this is A and B, and the number in it, which is 2. 
feel like this room is hotter than yesterday. Already. So I don't even know what period four is going to be. It's total state. Yeah. Set A or set B. <coughs> or is what shape? <coughs> you? What shape is it on a bed diagram? Yeah. The what? The snowman. The snowman and the stomach, right? So it's all of everything in the snowman. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The three, the nine, the fifteen, the six, the twelve, the two, the four, the eight, the ten, and the fourteen, right? Including the snowman stomach. So there's ten. Whoa. That bored sometimes. Go away. What does this mean? Everything not in A. So, in this case, it would be B only would actually be the same because there's nothing outside. But if there was something outside, I would count those as well, right? <coughs> so I cover up A and I count everything that's not in A. So there's 2, 4, 8, 10, and 14, which is 5 of those. Okay, next one. Okay, I want you guys to try and answer this. Keeping in mind, there are 38 students. Just because that Venn diagram has numbers in it doesn't mean it's completed. What's missing on that Venn diagram? The outside. So find that first. So it says, how? oh, sorry, we have to find out how many are on the outside. So we do 11 plus 8, which is 19, plus 6 is 25. 38 minus 25 is how much on the outside? So here it says, how many students are in both the drama and band? Eight. It's the eyeball, right? How many students are in drama club but not band? So I go look at drama club and I cover up the band and how many are in it? Eleven. So when they say students are in drama club but not band, they're basically saying drama only, right? That's a fancy way of saying drama only. So it's eleven. C says, or I don't know how I went to see how many students are in um i don't even know how this is unorthodox there's like twos and I, what kind of what did i do i don't even know okay. there's chaos two there's two twos there's a c there's some d's and an e i don't even i it's, i it's bad how many are in the band but not in drama club so that's band only which is six any more down here? No. Okay. How many students are in drama club? Sorry? How many are in drama? I can't hear people. 11 plus 8, which is? 19. Why did I add the 2? Why did I add the 2? Did it say drama only? It said drama, so I added the whole circle. What's in the circle? This one says how many are in band, so I added the band circle, which is 8 plus 6, which is 14. How many students are in at least one of the drama club or band? At least one, so they could be in one or both. So what numbers am I adding up? All of them but 13, right? So 11 plus 8 plus 6, which is 25. And then E says, how many students are in neither the drama club nor the band? 13. Are we allowed to leave flex? No. Darn. Chucky darn. Yeah. When in Rome, keep going. Try this one out. This one doesn't give you the and. You have to find the and. Here we have 45 in the universal. We have 20 in hockey, soccer, and 14. Neither hockey nor soccer, 16. We don't want a short form. So we're going to write hockey. And we're going to write soccer. In both, we don't know how many, but we do know there's 16 on the outside. We know there's 45 total. So when I go 45 minus 16, 
That leaves me 29 for the circles, right? How many tickets got put in for the circles? 20 plus 14, which is 34. However, I only have 29 people slotted to those slots, right? So if I go 34 minus 29, I'm left with 5 and move. So how many are in hockey only? How many are in hockey only? 15. And then you 20 minus 5. How many are in soccer only? 9. 14 minus 5. When I add this up, what should it total? 45. So this is 20, 36, 45. So we're good. Determine how many students liked hockey and soccer. Well, there's 5. Determine how many students liked only hockey or only soccer. So that's 15 plus what? 9. So it's 24. Draw and label the Venn diagram for your data. This is page 23 out of the workbook. Is the workbook the hard-covered one, which is called the textbook? Or is the workbook the soft-covered one, which is called the workbook? I think it's the workbook. It's the workbook one, the soft-covered one. Textbook's hard-covered, workbook's soft-covered. So it's the workbook. You do numbers 1 and then 4 to 9. And I'm going to check it tomorrow. Ready to be in your class? If you actually work right now, you finish it. It's not hard. Keep going.